the infamous NASA-controlled Project Bluebeam exists in order to implement the elite's New Age religion with Antichrist at its head. Please note that this so-called New Age religion is the very foundation for the New World Order government, without which religion the proposed elite dictatorship cannot be sustained, and this is the primary reason why the Project Bluebeam is so important to them, but has been so well concealed until relatively recently. Significantly, the Canadian, Sergei Monast, another journalist, both of whom were researching Project Bluebeam, died of heart attacks literally within weeks of each other, although neither had a history of heart disease. Sergei was actually in Canada, and the other Canadian journalist was visiting Ireland at the time of his death. Prior to his untimely death at the age of 46, the Canadian government illegally abducted Monast's daughter under the pretense of her being in danger from him in an attempt to persuade him from discontinuing his ongoing research into Project Bluebeam. His daughter was never seen again. As related in a previous chapter, artificially induced heart attacks are a favorite method of silencing people who manage to get too close to the truth and probably not coincidentally, one of the alleged methods of death that can be induced by Project Bluebeam. Sergei's contributions to humanity are immense and should never be forgotten as is the unbelievable courage he demonstrated in making public these incredible revelations which were secretly or anonymously given to him by contrite politicians, military personnel, and the intelligence people who still possess a conscience and a sense of humanity. This man has faithfully exposed the New World Order for the last decade. His children were homeschooled, so the authorities took his eight-year-old daughter away. Then his seven-year-old son was taken and they said the parents were abusing them emotionally by stopping the children going to a state school. The father was then arrested and spent the night in jail, and the next day at home, he suffered from a heart attack at the age of 46. This brave man has left a wife, who now has no family. Pray that she can get her little ones back. Our source said that the Canadian investigator wrote to her in Australia not too long ago saying he had been threatened many times and did not expect to survive. An unknown Canadian investigator into New Age globalism makes this claim. Sergei's investigative work revealed that the first step in the NASA Project Bluebeam concerns the reevaluation of all current archaeological knowledge. It reveals the initial setup of the false paradigms by the exponent of artificially created earthquakes at certain precise locations on the planet of supposedly new discoveries which will finally explain to all the people the error of all fundamental, current mainstream religious doctrines. The falsification of this information will be used to make all the nations of the world believe that their religious beliefs have been misunderstood and misrepresented for centuries. Psychological preparations for the first step have already been implemented with a maraud of sci-fi films emanating from Hollywood, including 2001 A Space Odyssey, Independence Day, and Star Trek, all of which deal with alien entities from space and the coming together of all nations to repel the invaders. The coming together of nations is of course a precursor to the One World Government. The popular film Jurassic Park subtly promotes the theory of evolution amid claims that God's words are lies. What is important to understand is that the earthquakes triggered during the first stage will hit many different parts of the world where scientific and archaeological teachings have indicated the arcane mysteries have been buried. As a direct consequence of those earthquakes, it will be possible for scientists to rediscover those arcane mysteries which will be used to discredit all current and fundamental religious doctrines. This is the preparation for the plan for humanity because what the elite wish to do is destroy the beliefs of all Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhists, and Muslims on the planet as well as the less popular religious beliefs. To achieve this, they need some false proof from the far past that will demonstrate to all nations that their religions have all been misrepresented and misunderstood. The second step in the NASA Project Bluebeam plan involves a gigantic space light show, complete with three-dimensional optical holograms and sounds and laser projections of multiple holographic images simultaneously to all the different countries of the world, each receiving a different image according to the predominant regional or national religious faith. This new God's voice will be speaking in a language relevant to that particular region. Computer scientists have now perfected an advanced computer and input to the minutes physiophysiological, particular based on studies of the anatomy and electromechanical composition of the human body. 
in the studies of the electrical, chemical, and biological properties of the human brain. This computer was also subjected to the input of the languages of all human cultures, including all known dialects. It was then programmed to electronically project holographic images and sounds of the proposed new Messiah. This space shows holographic images will be used as a simulation of the fulfillment of each religion or country's desires in order to verify the prophecies and events of their own religious beliefs, and these images will be projected from satellites onto a sodium layer about 60 miles above the Earth. We occasionally see tests of this technology, but they are passed off as UFOs or flying saucer sightings. These deliberately staged events will introduce the world to its new messiah, Maitreya, as a prelude to the immediate implementation of the new world religion. Enough truth will be foistered upon an unsuspecting world to hook them into a lie and even the most intelligent will be deceived. The Blue Beam Project will thus purport to be the universal fulfillment of the prophecies of old, as major an event as that which allegedly occurs 2,000 years ago. In principle, it will make use of the skies as a movie screen, as a space-based laser-generating satellites project simultaneous images to the four corners of the planet in every language and dialect known to man. It will effectively deal with the religious aspect of the New World Order using deception and obfuscation on a massive scale. The projected images of Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, etc. will merge into one after the answers to the mysteries and the revelations have been disclosed. This one composite God will in fact be the Antichrist who will explain that the various scriptures have been misunderstood and misinterpreted and that the religions of old are responsible for turning brother against brother and nation against nation. Therefore, these old religions must be abolished to make way for the new age and the new world's religion, representing the one true God, the Antichrist they see before them. Naturally, this superbly staged falsification will result in worldwide social and religious disorder, with nation blaming nation for the deception. In addition, the event will occur at a time of profound worldwide political anarchy and general turmoil created by some manufactured worldwide catastrophe. The United Nations is planning to use Beethoven's Song of Joy as the anthem for this event. It is strongly suspected that the United States government has already developed secret communications equipment which can make the blind see, the deaf hear, and the lame walk. It can relieve the terminally ill from pain without the use of drugs or surgery in order that someone may retain the use of all his facilities right up to the moment of his death. This communications equipment depends upon a newly discovered concept regarding the way that the human brain and neuromuscular systems and radiation pulses at low frequencies. This equipment is now operational within the CIA and the FBI, although it is extremely doubtful that it will ever be used for benevolent purposes because it is central to the domestic political agenda and foreign policy of the elite and their puppets of the New World Order. Elite government agencies and the corporations that are actively working with them towards a new world order are prepared to promote anything that will help them achieve their objective of total social control. The reason for this has already been covered in much detail throughout this book and is simply because by terrifying the public and causing them to fear for their safety, the masses will then allow the authorities to implement draconian laws, disarm them, and maintain extensive and intrusive records on them. All of their own protection, of course. Secondly, it also promotes the decay of the present democratic form of politics and leads societies to search for alternative methods for political ideology. Of course, the alternative has already been planned and is commonly known as the New World Order, and it absolutely will not have the safety or interests of the 99% at heart. The old maxim, divide and conquer, is being used to the maximum worldwide to ensure that everyone is frightened of their own personal safety and encouraged to be suspicious of everyone else. This too is a form of social engineering or mind control. The day has come when we can combine sensory deprivation with drug hypnosis and astute manipulation of reward and punishment to gain almost absolute control over an individual's behavior. It should then be possible to achieve a very rapid and highly effective type of positive brainwashing that would allow us to make dramatic changes in a person's behavior and personality. This is a quote by psychologist James V. McConnell in a 1970s issue of Psychology Today. 
The next step in the process would be electronic telepathy involving ELF, VLF, and LF waves which will penetrate the brain interweaving with our natural thinking to form diffused artificial thought and making everyone believe that God is speaking to them from within their own souls. This will then be followed by an electronic universal supernatural manifestation designed to deceive humankind into believing that an alien invasion is imminent and make Christians believe a rapture is imminent and that the aliens have come to rescue them and generally convince us all the global, satanic, natural, supernatural forces and manifestations penetrating worldwide and traveling through optic fiber, coaxial cable, electric and phone lines are everywhere and inescapable. The former Nazi rocketry engineer and father of the NASA space program, Dr. Werner von Braun, predicted as early as 1974 that the hoaxed alien invasion would be the first threat the world could face after the threat from the Middle East war to come. Dr. Carol Rosen first met Von Braun in the February of 1974, and it was at this time, three years before his death in 1977, that Von Braun stunned Dr. Rosen by describing this plan, point by point, as well as describing in fine detail exactly where it was all leading, planetary control under an oppressive one-world government. According to Dr. Rosen, Von Braun then gave her one supreme challenge that would above all thwart his plan and that was to try to prevent the weaponization of space by all possible means. He explained that failure to do so would lead to disaster for the entire human species as a secretive transnational power already in existence would move to permanently take control of this planet through a hoaxed alien invasion from outer space. In 2008, the young independent researcher, Rick Clay, shortly before his extremely premature suspicious death, also went public with his whistleblowing investigations connecting the 2012 London Olympic Games with Zionism and the false UFO invasions as well as their relationship to the so-called coming New Jerusalem to be ushered in via blue beam. The 2012 Olympic symbol clearly spells out the word Zion, even including the minor detail of the dot above the letter I. So what are we to conclude from all of this? There is so much evidence in support of the blue beam premise, and if my research has taught me one thing, that would be that there is never smoke without fire where these entities are concerned. There is obviously no 100% proof that all this subterfuge is happening whilst we collectively look away, but given the track record of our lords and masters, it does not take a huge leap of faith to believe that it is all eminently possible. The NASA Blue Beam Project is the prime directive of the New World Order's absolute control over the population of the entire planet. I would strongly encourage the watchers to investigate this for themselves before dismissing it as the absolute lunacy it would appear to be upon first watch. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, feel free to hit the subscribe button and give us a follow. And if you'd like to continue to support the show, head on over to patreon.com slash what we know and become a subscriber. We appreciate your support, and as always, thanks for watching.